What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Let's head on around here, see if we can't figure out follow the crystals. A deposit. The juiciest meat from Green's bed. You wouldn't believe how much he gave me. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not Maybe a I do. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. Kind of a, a snotty uh, prostitute. Do you think they'll be back soon? I need a new dress. If they pay anything like last. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. I'm just out here trying to get my sword polished. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market, either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. He'll probably be back at the inn by now. Why is the tavern shut? It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. I mean, we broke your furniture, but he also gave you a fat bag full of coin that was probably like triple the cost. Like, Uncle Byron paid for furniture and the trouble. He paid the inconvenience tax. suffice as a deposit by the sands that's a black pearl one of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with should you give me reason to do so all right I'm sure that we can come to an agreement but not here Making what some, are you doing, Uncle? Making some bribes. Expensive jewelry, I guess. Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion 
just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere. And pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then. Just as you arranged. And put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show, one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. <laughs> of course. Lush these days. Still, I need a way to get uh -huh. down. Yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna cut out this way. What was all that crash? That should. Yep. Cut out that way, and then we'll go across. I did some, um, oh, I didn't even think, you know, new morning, new day, new recording. Uh, but so I, I did test stuff out with, uh, with our ability, just to show y'all. It's, I can't believe it was this simple all along. So, uh, you know, we cast it. All we had to do was just press the button again. It was that simple all along. If I just tap the button again, it's going to move it. So, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, the other thing, so our, our Titanic block... Where we actually block with that that thing is nuts you can hyper armor through pretty much i mean i assume i don't know about anything but close to anything with it uh, i tested it i went into the uh, training simulation and was going up against enemies that would fly ambrosia like for example fighting the the legionnaire that has the giant hammer and he does that big powered up like you know divine smash or whatever and just block no damage now, obviously, if you if it's like a multi-hit attack, you're gonna block the first, and you'll take damage from the subsequent ones. But anything that looks like a big, like it's about to hurt you type thing, just you know, it's basically on par with uh, with just like a perfect evade. It just shuts down any damage coming your way. Take it from here. It's a lot of crystals. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not bad at all you weren't lying about the clarity but what of security if i were to be stopped on the road what guarantee have i that it wouldn't be seized as property of the republic because these crystals are no longer the property of the republic you're not buying from us 
You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And, being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion, and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord! What is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs! They're not here to do business! Kill them! Kill them both! Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, I forgot I had that on still. Over yet, Uncle. Good. I'm just getting warmed up. Garuda. Some over here too. Oh, some black chocobos. Okay. Um. <laughs> Titan counter on top of lightning rod. Oh my god. We're just like, blah, 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 like all the lightning going off. Man. Well, that wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Graybeard. You were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly, buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of address against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon.
It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield, thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. Double the... Ugh! Here, wear this. Your Boy Scout badge. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubor. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. And we got more side quests popping up. Even forged a butter knife of <sighs> perhaps Forge Master Luba's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. Hmm, neither would I. Oh, wait. Are you Clive? Sorry, my mind was elsewhere. I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. Soon to be former apprentice if I don't pass this test. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not the resourceful type. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am, unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. He wants me to make a carving knife, one that embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I don't suppose you have any idea what he's on about, do you? I'm afraid not. Never mind. Thought I'd ask. It was that, or pack my bags. I could give you a hand if you like. I know how busy the Briar's Kiss has been. I'd be a fool to refuse. So, where do we start? Good question. If I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. And then there's this little riddle to keep in mind. The spirit of Dalamil. The way I see it, there's only one way we'll be solving Lupor's puzzle. We need information. You're right. There's no point fumbling in the dark, I suppose. Now, well, there's plenty of folk in Dalamil who you... There's the butcher, of course, and they're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. All right. I'll talk to every cook I can find. You sp All right. Let's hope that someone... Probably a couple side quests. I'll pick them all up. We'll run back by base, check to see if there's any more hunts. Ask to take a simple test and turn it into a riddle. Yep, there's another one right over there. My carpet. Another one there is that part of the quest chain. 
hot water. Needed to a silken softness. Everything I've worked for. All those years of toil. Are you all right? The baths are closed. Leave me be. On second thought, perhaps you are just what I need. That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business, the baths. The water's turned scalding hot and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. But I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned. I'm so like a salamander somewhere. More ways than one. I beg of you. Go to Dozenoff Terraces. Tell me what you find there. All right. Wonderful. It's leave the market by the south gate. The smell of these baths are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. My livelihood, my very... Yeah, it's probably a, a, a salamander or something is over there. Eating up the water, splashing around. Oh, it's just outside of town. This one's here. We had the other two. Let's open the world map. Do we have anything else? There's other quests. And let's shoot back over to the hideaway. Let's swing by here and see if there's any hunts or anything like that. New missive has been delivered to Kyle's chambers. We'll check on that. And I think we're, we're pretty much right where I wanted to be uh, to do an episode that's just focused on side content. How may I help you today, Clive? Here you are. Tree Fitty, Miss Direwolf Jess. Hmm. It's neat. Okay, we are all set on hunts. That's still funny, I was just like, alright, we know where the ooze is at, and then we just stumbled onto this dude. Alright, Clive's Chambers, get over there. Are we on, um, items? Good. Who's this blue blood? It's going to find Cooker. Tell Apple sends it. Take a lot to get that wall full. Alright. So. Alright, quest, quest. There's two quests there. One over there, and then one over here. What are we at? 24 minutes? Let me, um. Yeah. Yeah, we can, I mean, I guess let's do one this episode. I don't know. I guess we could just wrap things up now. Feels, I think it's like a lot of the episodes lately have been going like, you know, 30, 35. And then we have one where it's kind of ending a little early, but uh, whatever. We, we can just wrap things up. So let's close out here. Next episode, we are going to focus on side content. So stay tuned. We'll bang out all the side quests, and then we're going to continue on with Riddle of the Sands, making our way for Drake's Fang. Um, but yeah, wrap up here, and I'll catch y'all soon with that.